What is up, everyone? It is the Mad King Paradox Test bringing you another Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon video. Now, before I get started, I just got home from work. It's really late at night, and there are people sleeping, so I'm going to try not to be, like, too loud during this. And also, two things. I saw the previous update. That huge big one we got a little while back. And I saw the scan leaks from the other night. But because of severe technical difficulties, I wasn't able to do a video about them. But I did see them. I made in-depth videos discussing them. And now that I'm able to actually record and upload, I can discuss this one. And third and finally, uh, and no, the footage from the last ones wasn't saved, so I have no way of uploading it. But everyone knows about them anyway by this point, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to continue on with this one. And for three, I'm going to be doing a live reaction of this trailer, because I have not seen it yet. I thought I missed the last two, wasn't able to do them, and I figured... It's a video, might as well do live reaction of it and discuss my thoughts throughout. Now, like I said, all I know about this trailer is the stuff from the scan leaks that we just got and the front cover, which is a very chibi looking Raichu, which I'm assuming is its Alola form. So, yeah, let's get this started without further ado, and, alright, Sun and Moon, Team Skull, I do hear about, I'll discuss Team Skull after the video. <laughs> it's just so funny seeing these guys right here. Are those Safari Balls? A drowsy and a haunter. I like these guys. Hmm. They're like semi break dancing. Hmm. Is that a tattoo on her stomach or just a design? I can't read what that says. Alright. I had a feeling they would use Ultra Balls. Now, this guy, the leader or the supposed leader, I actually want him to be the second in command. Because I want the leader of Team Skull to be a... For, for those of you who played Lollipop Chainsaw, I want that to be the final zombie boss. Now, what is this mushroom-looking thing that's grass and fairy-type? It's using a spore-type move. On the little mushrooms glow. Here's the fish. That really sad looking fish. Whose name escapes me at the moment. Pure water type. And now it becomes the big fish. Hmm. It was at full health. So is it one of those. Until it reaches a certain health. It stays that way. Because that's what it's looking like. It's health is below half. And now it reverts back to just being a one fish. Okay, that's its gimmick. I really like that. That's pretty interesting. Now this thing, the sea cucumber. Okay, it's pure water type. I thought it would be water and fighting, seeing as how it said the it expunges its insides like a fist. I figured fists punching. Oh... And it has an ability that takes your opponent with it. <laughs> oh yes, the Alola form Meowth, who is, I believe, Dark type? Yep, Dark type. And it's a pure breed type of Meowth, which is really interesting. I really like that they made a pure breed type of thing. And then we just found out about the Ghost and Fire type Marowak. Which, of course, I'm a sucker for ghost types, so I instantly like this. 
Okay, Ghost is secondary. Alright, that makes sense. And of course, everyone else has said it. It's a nod back to the mother of the Marowak from the previous Gen 1 game. Alright, and okay, this Chibi Raichu is a Lola Farm Raichu. And I'm guessing Electric and Fairy. Yep, Electric and Fairy. And it's riding its tail like a surfboard. My god. <laughs> Wait, they didn't say anything about the, um, they didn't say anything about Beware's pre-evolved form or the Sandcastle Pokemon. Hmm. Well, let me just rectify that right here now. Let's go back to this. Okay, and the dog, whose name escapes me at the moment, the one we got a long way back. That's supposed to be getting an evolution soon as well. <laughs> Here we go. The two that they didn't show off in the trailer are... First off, these are all going to be Japanese names. Who knows what their English ones are going to be. Uh, the pre-evolved form of Beware is currently called Nui Koguma and remains normal in fighting. Alright, it's a cute little bear, and it's like waving its arms around all frantic light. It's really cute. And the two Sandcastle Pokemon, which I really enjoy because it's a Sandcastle Ghost. It's Ghost and Ground type, which is a very rare typing. But you see, it's like an antlion kind of way, kind of like Tramp Pinch, where... It burrows under the sand and it just sucks in prey in like a vortex type of thing. So I'm really liking that. But like I said, they're ghost and ground, two sand castles, a little one with a shovel on top of its head, and then a big fortress looking one with a shovel on top of its head. And they are called... Where is it? Okay, here they are. The little sand castle is called Tsunaba, and the big one is called Shiro Desuna. Again, these are the Japanese names. I don't know the English names yet because this trailer is just leaked. It isn't official that I'm aware of because it was in Japanese. I couldn't read it. I don't know what they are. And we have right here, the boss of Team Skull is called... Guzma? Guzma? I'm going to say Guzma. And the girl was Plumeri. But like I said, the boss of Team Skull, this guy I don't really have a problem with because I really don't know what angle they're going at because, again, we looked at Team Flare and we thought, where are these people going to do? Then we saw Lysander or Lysandre or whatever you want to call him. And they were pretty interesting. I want to know what Team Skull is about. Because you think Hawaii, think bright, colorful, happy. And here are these break dancing punk, skull-wearing people come running out of nowhere. But like I said, the leader, in my head, I wanted the actual leader to look like one of those... 50s bad boys, like the final, not the final boss, but the second to final boss in Lollipop Chainsaw. That guy with the leather jacket, the jeans, riding the motorcycle with the pompadour. You know, that type of person I wanted to see as the boss of Team Skull. Because, like I said, you had Lysander with Team Flare, and he was sophisticated, yet very menacing. I wanted the leader of Team Skull to be like this 50s bad boy who just very tall, very muscular, all black, leather, jeans, the pompadour hairstyle, sunglasses, kind of wearing like Giovanni back with Team Rocket where they wore robber outfits with a big R. He wore a suit and tie with an R on the pocket patch. I just want him to just be looking badass as a 50s gangster. 
with just like a little skull symbol on like his sleeve or hanging off of his pants. You know, something along that line, because that would have been amazing. But this guy is a supposed boss, so I really want to know what they're going for. But anyway, that is the end of this. That is all the information we have. Pretty interesting so far. And again, I'm going to upload this. And I'm going to continue bringing more Pokemon Sun and Moon news as it comes along. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this live reaction. I filled in the parts that they missed from the scan leak that wasn't in the video for whatever reason. But that is it. This is the Mad King Paradox S signing off, and I will see you all next time.